Have you always dreamed about building a full stack app or a mobile app, but you just have no clue where to get started? Let me tell you that dream is about to come true using Emergent. This is the easiest way to build a full stack app or a mobile app that I've seen out there. The idea here is to just describe what you need and it's going to create it for you. Plus, you can go ahead and continue chatting with it to improve the website or the app. Now, let me show you what I've created here in Emergent. Now to get started, super easy, go ahead and sign up and test it out right now for free. Now, in this case, I've created an Airbnb style website and let me show you the actual live website that is available right now. This is ready to use because I have built it here in Emergent. Now in this case, I can go ahead and search for a destination. For example, in this case, I'm search for Aspen and I'm going to go ahead and kick off the search and it found one of the listings right here. So I can go ahead and continue. View the details, I can add my check-in dates. I'm going to say the first to the third. I'm going to get a total and I'm going to request the booking and then it'll take me to the login system to continue with the booking. And it's super easy. Now I can go ahead and log in and I have an admin panel to start using. So let me show you what I've done. So I can go ahead and log in. Right now I have this demo data available in the live site because I'm doing tests. So in this case, I'm going to log into the admin section with my details. Let's go ahead and log in. And here we go. This is the admin panel again that I've built with Emergent. Now Emergent built something for me normal and I asked it to improve it because I wanted to be able to add user from here, not just view the users. I wanted to edit the users and I'm able to view the details. I can edit or delete. I can view the properties, edit them. I can view the bookings and I have a robust setting system. So inside of what I created, so I can now change the colors, the website logo, the fav icon title, description without having to do that in Emergent because now it's inside of what I requested. I can add my payment details for Stripe and PayPal, my email and notifications. I can add my SMTP details and I'll be good to go. Now, was this complicated to build? Absolutely not. This is super easy. Check this out. This was my first prompt and I do recommend that you add a robust prompt so it adds a better version straight from the beginning. But in this case, I, I asked for something simple. So make a clone of Airbnb and do some more enhancements. And boom, it created the first part. It asked me a few questions. Do I want to go with the core features, enhancements, user roles, etc.? I said, yes, do all of them and make sure to make a robust admin panel for the admin user. So see how I'm telling you that if you make a better prompt, it's going to give you a better output. I should have asked that in the beginning but it gives you an idea and it starts building the website. I go ahead and continue test it, making sure that everything's okay. But again, I asked it, go ahead and make the panel again for the admin, but I wanted to allow me to customize the website, like colors, logo, images, etc. And I wanted to have the option to add the payment gateways like Stripe to, to input the API key. And then also the options to add, remove and review users, properties and bookings. And boom, it creates it for me. What happens next? Go ahead and test it out. Make sure that everything works. If not, go ahead and chat with it and it'll fix it for you. I mean, it, it, everything is just super easy as just chatting with it. So forget about needing to be a developer because this is the easiest way to build it. Now, in this case, for example, I ran my test and I said, make sure that the search system in the home page works. And again, it starts doing its job and it gives me the search functionality working. So it's as easy as that. I can go ahead and deploy now. So it goes to the live site. I can preview this, which is what I'm doing right here, or I can continue chatting with it to improve the website. I can change colors, details, bookings, the overall code with just chatting. So trust me, this is robust. Then in the chat, I also have options to add files, save to GitHub. I have the fork option. So in case I want to start this in a new chat, it'll save the context for it preserves the context, the memory is refreshed and it spends less so I can pre proceed with the summarization. Then I have the ultra feature and I have the chat option to do this and kick this off. Now you might say, hey, you know what? That all sounds too good to be true, but it's not. I mean, just like you saw right here, just by chatting with it, you'll be able to create something like this. In this case, you got the full stack option, landing page or a mobile app. And you get a bit of examples here in the bottom in case you want to make something like this. For example, what if I want to do a Flappy Bird? Go ahead and kick this off. It'll add the prompt. You can go ahead and, and modify this prompt to make it, hey, make it look like Roblox. Make it look like Zelda and a Flappy Bird with a different version. You can go ahead and do so right here. You can attach files and images for reference. You got your GitHub. You got the mobile option that you can select here. You can enable Ultra with Ultra Thinking with 16,000 
thinking tokens and depending on your use case that might be useful or not and select the ai model that you want to use these are the ai models as of this video of course they are adding more and they are going with the latest version as soon as they come out so not to worry about that then you have your advanced controls here to select the mcp to use select a template if you are using one the budget that you want to set here or if it's going to be private or public once you're good to go go ahead and kick this off and emergent is going to take care of this for you it's going to build the game that we asked for as a mobile app so let's give this a few minutes Here we go after a few minutes our gaming app first version is now ready let's go ahead and play here we go. oh play again ah. ah that's a bit too hard so i'll be happy to tell this to be a little bit easier to play but here we go that is the first version of a game created right now on this video which i think is super amazing that you can do without having to be a developer so i don't know what you are waiting for because if your dream is to build a full stack app or a mobile app you can get started right now with emergent so go ahead and sign up and test it out for yourself well that's a wrap for emergent